Hello everyone, welcome to this new video with a new challenge series. This time we're going to target Born to Root, the second version. It's going to be a fun series and I hope you'll learn many hacking techniques. Let's get started. I have created a folder under my CTFs folder, Born to Root 2. And with that said, I'm going to start with Nmap, port scanning tool to discover the different exposed services so that we can hack them. I'm going to target the top 100 ports and I'm going to provide it with dash SV for version enumeration and verbose mode with dash V. And I'm going to specify the host name. The challenge is hosted on RootMe, great platform where I learned many hacking techniques. Let's hit enter and see what we get. Normally it shouldn't take long because we're just targeting the top 100 famous most important ports. So it seems that we have three different services, 22 for OpenSSH, port 80 that hosts a Apache 2.4.10 and an RPC bind service. The first thing I can try is see what we have under the port 80. Usually that's the entry point. So I'm going to target CTF 18 URL and we land on the same screenshot we had on Volnhub. Hello Fox, I recently created a website and a blog to talk about my life, my passions and my travels. I see a lot of bloggers do that. And uh, yeah, we have let's get started, click on that. It just scrolls down. We have some bunch of uh, pages, but they don't point to anything, just a hashtag. Uh, let's click on download. This scrolls to the download section. If we click on features, it gives us the features section and contact. Well, there are some social links here, but none of them points to anything. I guess this is just a dummy web page to throw us off. So there are no um, discoverable links, I guess. Let's see the source code, the HTML, I mean. I don't see any URLs here, just some dummy comments that potentially are part of the original template used for this page. And yeah, nothing really interesting here. Just some vendor scripts like jQuery, Bootstrap. Um, yeah, nothing, uh, nothing really interesting here. So with that said, I'm just going to do some light brute force. But before we do that, just go directly to robots.txt and see if you have a file there. Nope, we don't have a file, but we have a typical 404 error from Apache. So that would be fairly easy for us to distinguish using our automated attack. So wfuzz to automate the discovery. And I'm going to use the word list that is hosted or stored in my hacking tools, set list, discovery, web content. And let's start small with maybe the quick hits. I'm not sure. Okay. And maybe we will hide 404 code so that we filter out any uh, pages that return the same result as this one right here. And I'm going to target CTF 18 with the placeholder fuzz. This is where the brute force will happen. Hit enter and give it some time. It should be fairly quick. And as you can see, it has spin, spun out a lot of uh, results that return 403, meaning forbidden. So if let's take an example of .hda. Generally, uh, Apache is configured to filter out those uh, paths that contain dot. So generally, this is what we will get forbidden. So with that said, let's uh, continue our enumeration. We see some files that return to 100 package.json and readme. Hmm, seems interesting. All right, what do we have here? Package, oh, package.json. Title, new age, name, bootstrap, new age. Yeah, um, this is the... Uh, HTML template that it's been used, URL for that repository. I mean, this one, if I visit it real quick, just to make sure that we're using the same source code. So yeah, this is how it looks like. Yeah, pretty much the same as the one that we have in our challenge page. 
And we have some dependencies, which are all front-end, bootstrap, fonts, jQuery, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. What about the readme? I guess that's also the same file that we might find in the source code. I mean, the GitHub page. We have a readme here. I guess we would also have other uh, files like license, scripts, source, etc. But since this is just a front end uh, page static, doesn't have any features, it's not really interesting from an attacker's perspective. All right, let's enlarge our search space a little bit. And this time I'm going to target directories. So I'm going to just add a slash at the end just to avoid any redirections. Uh, I'm going to also add a 403 here, and here I'm going to use raft. Uh, let's start small with raft small directories. Give it a spin and see what we get. All right, we get uh, you the usual folders of an Apache uh, installation. Oh, we have a folder here called Joomla. Hmm. So this might hint that there is a hidden or um, integrated CMS, because we know that Joomla is a CMS, content management solution, where bloggers can create content and edit it, manage it, and publish it. We have vendor, we have images, yeah. Well, while it's running, I'm going to go to vendor and see what we get. So we get redirected to vendor with slash at the end. That's why I prefer to add a slash at the end when I'm doing directory enumeration. Yeah, it seems like we can, we have just uh, some front end folders right here. Bootstrap, um, font awesome, jQuery, etc. Nothing really interesting. What about Joomla? Hmm. Joomla and... Oh! We land on a blog hosted by Tim or owned by Tim. I suspect this is the uh, author of that whole challenge. Hello there. You may ask yourself for utility to of this blog, right? So basically, most of the time, then I'm when I'm lazy to write in the main website, I write here for my travels fastly without giving too much information. Who I am, so let's start. I'm Tim, I'm 32 years old. I come from Brisbane, Brisbane, but I actually live in the US. I love to travel and also love music and football. Okay, some interests here. My passions are travel, football, and music. Hmm. Okay, all right, we seems that we have getting started page, which is nothing but the first page that we've just saw. And yeah, we have a bunch of tags. I mean, just one tag called Joomla, which has this article right here, getting started. And we have a login form. I'm going to try my luck and see if this time I'm lucky because I'm very terrible at guessing passwords. So maybe it's Tim Tim. Nope. What about Tim and uh, password? Well, what about Tim and travel? Because this is one of the interests of that user. Nope. Okay, we have a forgot your password. We can provide an email address. Let's provide something that doesn't exist. Just to see if we can enumerate Usernames, reset password failed. Yeah, so nope, cannot do that. Forgot your password. Let's provide an email. Same thing, reset password. Oh, okay. So we have here invalid email address, which means that we can potentially try to enumerate emails, but I'm not sure what's the domain here. So that's useless. What about forgot your password? Same thing, I need an email. Hmm, so do I have anything here other than the login? Yeah, we have a search. Zero results. Hmm. Search for admin. Zero results. Nothing really interesting. Maybe try to inject SQL injection payload. Nope, nothing really interesting here. So yeah, let's see if we have 
anything other than that. Nope. This is the only results we have. Um, we can expand our payloads by trying longer word lists here. But <clears throat> I think that Joomla is a strong lead here. We're going to try to see if we can uh, authenticate using the different data points that we have on user Tim. So that's what we're going to do in the next video. Make sure to subscribe and hit the ring bell to get notified when it goes live. If you've learned something new in this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. As always, stay curious, keep learning and go find some bugs.